Started with a dollar and a dream. This one for all the people that said I couldn't do it. Good day. Speaking to you is Lisa Mutupi, the founder of Forex Jesus Institution. On this video here, I'm going to be speaking about um, can you really make a living of trading Forex signals? But first, I want to explain what signals are. What is it that signals are? Okay. So basically, it's like getting a person that is already experienced that does execute trades and then let you know whether to buy or sell at the specific price. And then what the person does is that they give you limits of like let's say um take profit and even stop losses. Meaning, um, let me give you a quick example. A person sees a, a setup on Euro US dollar and instead of you having to analyze and going through the whole process this professional trader gives you a signal saying that okay you should buy this um euros dollar at the specific price put your stop loss at the specific um risk and then your target should be the specific level so what you do is that you just take the numbers that was given to you and then you place them onto your trading platform and that way you can make money yes there are people that are making um that are pr producing um good signals and there's ones that are not giving good signals so it's very wise of you to be able to check who you'd want to um copy trades from okay so what i want to do is that i want to explain um the advantages of taking signals um learning to trade forex isn't easy um it's a journey it's a process meaning that um for you to be able to gain consistency within the market you have to get someone that is already experienced that's going to educate you give you the knowledge that they have already gained and then it's going to take you a few months that's when you're going to start gaining consistency which is why for some people they don't have that much time um to to learn forex so instead they take signals which one thing that i recommend you should do is that you should um back test back test what does it help with um just at least look at the person's um results or i don't know if you've been following the person make sure that they are giving out like let's say consistent um results doesn't have to be like doubling your account each and every time but at least going forward you know a week at least even if it's like two percent five percent and so on that way you can know that okay once you're, you're investing your money onto um the specific signal group that way you are going to be able to be consistent over time in the long run because you can't um pay for signals this week and expect to be a millionaire by next week or you expect um to double your account by next week you don't work that way it should, it should be you being able to understand that you don't have time to trade so you're going to invest on this signal group just so you can be able to let them trade for you making 15 to 20 percent i don't know 30 percent a month at least to gain consistency that way is much better and one thing that i recommend is that as soon as maybe let's say you don't have enough capital to um join a class or something like that but as soon as you get you start seeing yourself making money from signals it's it's very wise of you to take some of that money and learn for us because you don't know what can happen to that person that's giving you signals next week they can just um shut down whatever they are running operating so now if let's say you're paying bills or something using that money can you see that you're back at zero so it's very wise of you to also learn in the meantime while making money okay so um one thing that i also want to explain is that um, most people um using signals what they do is that they shift their responsibility and then they give it to the signal provider which is not a good thing yes it's like that but it's not a good thing because if you take a look at it you th this is your money that we're speaking about you are responsible for your own capital so it's not good that when you lose money you're gonna start blaming your signal provider or when you make money you're gonna start being excited all over your signal provider you just have to be able to understand what we call um, risk management and be one thing that you should do is to avoid the cycle of doom what is the cycle of doom cycle of doom is basically um going from a signal provider to another signal provider meaning that this week you join a specific someone they take four trades and then they lose those four trades then you're like no they don't they're not consistent let me leave and go to the next one you pay for another one then they make let's say two good trades that are going in there in your direction the next they lose and then you start like you go from just the one signal provider to another to another to another. in that way like you can never be you will never find that specific someone because whatever strategy that a person trades doesn't win 100 percent there's like at least 70 or 60 percent um chances that um the person wins and with that being said using your risk management that's when you are going to be able to gain consistency so it's very wise of you to just pick i mean pick one person and then make sure that person is consistent and then stick to that person even if you guys are going through a drawdown week or a week whereby you didn't make money at all just believe that in the long run this strategy is worth it this strategy is going to make money so that way you know for sure that you can speak to your signal provider okay um so one thing that i want to explain now is the risk management with um signals so what happens is that um if you take a look at it most people um even though they have a small account they'll be opening trades with a huge lot size which is very bad because what happens is that um they trust you to be able to make um good trades okay it's well it's okay that they trust me but at the same time they're risking the account hoping that my trades are going to double the account for them meaning that they don't have to they don't look at their own risk what i do as a signal provider is that um instead of calculating the risk and everything for you i'm just going to give you stops and stuff 
risk management, making sure that the risk management is one is to three or more. What you have to do your, your, yourself is to be able to know how much you're losing and if you're comfortable or confident in losing that specific amount of money. So, you know, even if you take three losing trades and then you just have one winning trade, you are in profits because that's how we treat the risk load management is always one is to three or more. So you need to also be careful of how you treat and how you take these signals. And um, one thing that I want to say is that we started um, Forex Chases Institution, we did start with um, our signal, giving out signals and stuff because I noticed most people wanted to join our course but they didn't have enough um, capital to be able to um, pay for it. So one of my friends suggested that we do provide them with signals just so we can be able to help them build their account. And at the same time they can also get to um learn and stuff and at the same time there's other people that would like to be involved in forex but don't have time at all to trade so it does help um, help them with so what you can do is that i'm just gonna put my email down here somewhere here and then you'll just be able to just um inbox us and then um let us know if you're interested in them and yeah please do subscribe on this channel it's your boy lisiba mutubi